Welcome all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska Kopet and we are taking you for a journey through Poland right now. And this episode is devoted to all young Americans uh, who want to visit Poland and see something cool here. With me uh, is Carson Becker, an American researcher, but also someone totally in love with Poland. Carson, if you are speaking right now to your Pulse to your um, fellow Americans back there in the US who probably think about making a trip to Poland, what would you recommend for them to, to see here and to visit here? Well, I would start with Warsaw, certainly. I think, I think in Warsaw, of course, there's the Warsaw Uprising Museum, which would give any visitor a, a good idea of, of what happened uh, during the war. And also, I would recommend visiting the Royal Castle, which is not only is it beautiful, but it's also a, a symbol of the tragedy and then reconstruction of the city. Other places, I would recommend walking around Jolibor. It's a very beautiful neighborhood. Actually, most of it survived from the 1930s when they were experimenting with some modernist uh, architecture. So I, I love architecture, so I find that to be very fascinating. Um, I think many others would as well. Outside of Warsaw, I would recommend Krakow, of course. A very beautiful city, and, and Wawel Castle especially is, is wonderful. Um, especially it was not destroyed during the war. So. Exactly. So it is this beauty that you actually can see how it was. Um, uh, the old, old castle and the old stone houses, and how it, it could look like during the medieval times when kings were living there. Exactly. Um, the Hell Peninsula is lovely, especially in the summertime. Uh, the city of Gdansk is very nice, and I've actually visited even Białystok, which I guess is not the most frequently visited city in Poland, but Definitely. I thought it was lovely as well, and uh, I visited the Branitski Palace there, which was, which was an interesting tour, so I'd recommend that to anyone who's visiting Poland. Oh, to be interested in, uh, in the, those pieces of part of culture. And as you mentioned that uh, at the castle in Warsaw, which is the Royal Castle in Warsaw, it is also a museum where you can find uh, two uh, pictures of Rembrandt, uh, which are there, so you can, you can go and see it, look at it also as a form of gallery. And we do, of course, have also a national museum with, I don't know if you have ever visited and a chance to see I have it. visited, actually. No, it's quite nice. I would, I would recommend that as well. And so there are this um, part of uh, the the, uh, the um, collection which you can see every day, and this is the collection through the whole Polish history, and of course with a huge, huge painting of Matejko of the um, uh, Battle of Grunwald. Have you seen it? I have seen the painting. It's a huge, the whole wall of a painting. Oh, it's monumental. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> And you see the Battle of Grunwald in a German called the Battle of Tannenberg, which was one of the biggest uh, uh, battles during the medieval times with so many soldiers. And it's, of course, a, a, so, a sort of metaphor how it could look like. But you can definitely recognize different pe people from the history which are picturized there in those very, let's say, f uh, flashy way <laughs> with a lot of expression put somewhere there. But talking about the World War II right now, um, which you specialize in, uh, right now there is this contact of or huge research and searching for other paintings which were lost during the World War II and are hidden somewhere, usually very often somewhere in Germany, and uh, people are trying to get them back. Have you ever seen the picture of um, a, an older woman with uh, oranges? Uh, which was uh, we thought it to be, and we thought it's going to be last forever. Uh, this picture of Gieremski, uh, but uh, right now it was a few years ago restored and found out on an auction in Germany, bought by the Polish government and put back again in the Pol National uh, Museum. So you can see this in the National Gallery of Warsaw. Well, I think uh, the situation as unfortunate as it is, would have been even worse had it not been for the heroic efforts of, of Dr. Stanislav Lawrence to, to save the artwork of Poland and to hide much of that artwork from, from the Germans. Uh, and also the mayor of Warsaw during the occupation, Julian Kolski, uh, protected many artworks as well, especially in the city hall. So uh, to them we are grateful. 
Well, absolutely about this and we should remember about it. And of course, for all of you, the viewers of Pearl and Daily, absolutely, we invite you to go and see the museum, see the paintings, learn more about history, see the beauty of it and uh, see the, uh, the uh, what we also left after the uh, World War II, just to walk through the streets of Warsaw and you might find the pearls hidden in different places. And thank you very much for watching our show. Thank you.